Hey guys, so in this video, we're going to actually be building out a search. And what we basically want to do is we're going to have a bunch of items in this list. And when I basically search for a particular item, that item should return here based on the keyword that I'm searching. So basically, if you are familiar with JavaScript, a lot of concepts would seem very easy. And obviously Alpine makes them easy. But if you don't really understand some concepts, definitely hit me up on the comments. But let's just get started. Uh, before that, do subscribe to hit the bell icon and let's just get into it. So the first thing obviously that you need to do with most of these Alpine videos is you need to define uh, your data attribute. And in the data, we're going to define a few things. We're going to say our search term is going to be empty by default because obviously it is empty. And we're also going to say we're going to have a number of items and each item. So this is how you actually declare an array or maybe a list of items in JavaScript. And basically, and then for example, if you want to add a string, you obviously need to have double quotes around it or single quotes. Um, and then I'm going to go ahead and actually add some text apple and then banana and then mango and then let's say cherry. So here we have some items. Now I'm also going to show you how to actually loop through each item. So the way that you actually loop items or go through a for loop uh, in uh, Alpine, you basically use the x minus 4 keyword. So x minus 4, and it actually shows you the whole thing here, right? It actually shows you that you need to do this in order to generate the items in the list. So I'm basically going to say I want each item in the items list. So each item in the items list. So first time the item is going to be apple, then banana, then mango, then cherry. I want this code repeated for every single item in this list in this list basically and basically if i actually save it as you can see we have four items because we have four items here but but it just says item 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 because we have the item here fixed we haven't defined it dynamically and based on the previous video if you want to define it down dynamically we can just say x minus text and the item so here we have our item obviously the search doesn't work because we haven't done anything for it so now let's if you want to proceed further uh, we can actually go ahead and actually create a uh, function so we're going to go ahead and say we're going to create a function uh, for even before that never mind even before that let's just go ahead and actually add an input so the input is going to have an x minus model property and the x minus model property what it does is it, it creates a two-way data binding and what a two-way data binding actually does is it's actually going to anything that we actually input here, it's going to link this thing and link this input to it. So anything that I type in this search is actually going to, in the search input is actually going to be linked to the search variable that we have globally defined. And I can show that to you. I can just say div and then say x minus text and then say that I want to print out the search. So as you can see, as I'm typing, this is the search variable that we have defined above. It's dynamically updating and it's that simple to actually go ahead and define a two-way data binding in Alpine. So now that we have that, let's go ahead and actually create a function. I'm gonna say I wanna create a function for let's say filtered items. And this function is actually gonna go ahead and just return a, a filtered list. So just to show you if I actually just create, let's say a smaller list, banana or whatever, and then, and then instead of like the item in items, I just say item in the filtered items, as you can see, we're just going to have these two items because obviously uh, this I'm, I'm basically saying that you want to go through the item in this smaller filtered items array, which is again, just two items for now. So how do we actually dynamically connect those things? Well, we can actually go ahead and run a filter function that's available in JavaScript. I'm going to say that I want to take the items array that I have here defined and I want to filter this list basically based on some clause that I add here. And how do I want to filter that? I want to say that each item in this items array should actually only be returned if a condition is met. So I'm basically saying the item should only be returned if I, whatever I type here is actually going to be true. So I'm basically going to say the item is going to return if the item starts with a particular keyword. And what would that keyword be? Well, yeah, you guessed it, it would be our search term. And basically once we do that, this should be working. And now if I type apple, as you can see, we have the apple. If I type banana, I have the banana and then mango and then cherry. And obviously if you have 
some similar items like for example uh, i don't know uh, baba let's just add baba i don't know why i can't really find uh, some food so i'm gonna press b and as you can see we have both the banana and the baba here and then a and then let's say banana so then we just have one item and that's basically how you start using some of the additional properties like the x model property the x4 property and again you can see how easy it is to actually create a functionality like this and that's going to be it for this video do subscribe to hit the bell icon and i'll see you in the next one take care